Hi everyone, I'm here with Scott from the Alameda County Sheriff's Office and we're going to do a little demo on uh, snag. We're going to be using the snag polymer. Okay? And uh, thank you Scott. Thank you. This. Please Appreciate don't hurt me, I'm going to die. So I gotta, I gotta be able to function when I get back. Alright, the whole point of uh, the uh, polymer snag is the fact that apart from being easy to draw, it's a tool that if you drop it on the floor and somebody had to pick it up, you know, um, it's kind of, kind of funky, kind of weird. You, know, you can't cut with it. You know, the only thing you can is probably throw it at somebody. But if you're in a correction environment, you want a tool that's unknown so that the officer has that moment of what I call a hiccup. And a hiccup is like somebody picks it up and they, 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 just, they don't know what to do. That gives you that space that you're looking for, and then the officer can react immediately because they know that they're not going to use it against them. Uh, anyway, so now I'm going to go through a simple thing. All right, Scott, here's some down. The situation is very simple. You know, we have our tool in our hand, and uh, or it can be right in our pocket. If it's in our sheet, it doesn't matter, but you have that location. If somebody, and I'm going to take my watch off because of it's metal and I don't want to scrape it. But if you're in that situation, you want to create that space. You know, once you create that space, you go for your tool. And as the individual attacks, I want to go in an angle. The whole point is to go out of the angle. If you come at me, you want to go into an angle. But you do want to stay close to the individual. When you have the tool in hand in the individual attacks, I am going to the side. I cut the line. My hands are already up. So, okay, right here. That's, I'm cutting the line. Here's my hook. If the individual tries to shoot with that hand, my hand is already here, always. Now, I win. But it all starts right here. Cutting the line. I'm cutting the line and I'm moving to the side. Because even though I know the angle that I'm taking, a jab is very, very difficult to get out of the way. So, jab. It doesn't matter where it comes from. I'm still cutting the line, as you can see. Whether it's a left hand or a right side, it doesn't matter. It's unexpected. So if you shoot the left, shoot the other one, I'm still out. Do it again. Now I'm moving him out of the line. Do it slow. Left hand. Now I'm moving out of the line. Any point that I pick, any point that I pick, whether I do a pelvis thrust, you're still going to go down. And I'm not pushing them. If I want to and I need to control the individual, here it is. Here is my takedown. And from here, we can control the individual to take him completely down. Are you okay? Yeah. No, it's okay. <laughs> but it doesn't matter what happens. It's an ambidextrous tool. Now, the learning process is simple. Throw the punch. I'm covering. I'm hooking. I'm grabbing. I can do an arm lock. Take my prisoner to wherever I have to. And now I have a thumb lock. If the individual tries to resist, all I need to do is. Okay. <laughs> this is a little bit of pressure. A lot of control. You feel it. Yes. Right. So again, individual, stay right there. Don't advance. Let's throw a jab. I'm doing it. I'm stepping back and throw the jab. I'm not worried about it. I don't have to hook you. All I'm doing is pummeling you. Now, no matter where I put this tool, it hurts. This is a problem. No edge, no point. It's a blunt. You ready? Uh, not really, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm not doing. You didn't even do much. No. Now this is a polymer. Let me show you the. Uh, in my pocket. Again, duty, whatever. I need to take it because I need to react fast. I open my thumb support up. I'm gonna use two fingers. May I? Don't hit me. <laughs> it's an example. Thank you.
So imagine, if, can I do one more time? Yeah. I'm gonna do a flick. So there's points you're supposed to know. This is a lot of meat point. right here. Okay? That means that you really have to crank. But perhaps, so there's certain yeah. points. You need to know oh, yeah. your points for application. No, you don't. Anyway. This creates the so point. much because of the... I don't care where I put it. No. You know, it is a simple... Okay, the training is easy. Everybody thinks it's a big, huge learning curve. But it's not. Why? We already learned this one when we were four or five years old. How do you fight when you're a child? It's instinctive. What else can you do? If I have a hand, I hook. So why not hook with a tool? The difference is that I have augmentation, whether it's a polymer or metal. If I have it in a closed position, if he grabs, I jam. If he grabs and punch, I still can block him. Here I am. Grab with the other hand and punch. I'm blocking hammer. Here it is. So lots of fast strikes. It's a fast strike. Get that space open so that you can go from the either secondary weapon or tertiary weapon to your primary tool. So it's an escalation. And right now this is being used by the higher level of these I mean we're fortunate. So what's the difference? One is a polymer, one is a fancy looking metal one. But the best part about the metal one is that you can draw and it's not a knife. That's the important part. Did I do a good job? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. You were on my list of important people to see. Oh gosh, thank you.